um, to share with you why I think um, therapy is a really good thing. So back in 2020, I was assaulted, and when when that happened, I was pregnant. I had just found out I was pregnant. Like I found out on a Thursday that I was pregnant, and then I got assaulted on a Sunday. And um, the whole thing was traumatizing to say the least. So I spent my entire pregnancy in like I was I was very depressed. I was worried. I was worried all the time. I was very down and. To make matters worse, I had like I had a condition, a medical condition that put me in excruciating pain. So the entire pregnancy I was in excruciating pain and I was so afraid, I was so scared that I was gonna lose my baby because I had been put in I had been put in um like a high risk pregnancy. Um, window so I was very I was very scared when I had the baby well I didn't know I didn't know how deep the trauma was for me actually until after I had the baby so when I had the baby oh my god I found out that I couldn't like I couldn't step out of my door I was so traumatized by the incident. It had put me in a state of that that was beyond fear. That was beyond fear. So, like I said, I couldn't step out of my house. I couldn't take the baby out. I couldn't like and it, it had it had nothing to do with COVID, please. It had nothing to do with COVID. Because yes, with COVID, we were supposed to be in quarantine and stuff. But this one that I'm describing, it had nothing to do with COVID. Like, because I lived at that time, I was I was in a gated community, so I could I could step out of my door and you know just walk around in the community. I was we were allowed to do that, but I just I personally just couldn't do it because of the fear. I I was feeling and it got to a point where like even to take the baby to her doctor's appointment was a struggle so like my husband had to be there with me or somebody had to be there with me or I just couldn't do it and it wasn't until months later that I was like, this is not normal anymore. Like there's something going on. I felt deep down, down that something was wrong. I felt that something was off with me. So I was like, you know what? I need help. Like I, I, I need help. I cannot handle this by myself. I and and I couldn't really. And the thing is, I couldn't really explain to anybody how I was feeling. Like there was something else. Like I said, beyond the fear. And I couldn't explain it to anybody. So what I did, I called I call my doctor and I was like, you know what, doc, there's something off. There's something going on. And I, I, I tried to explain myself. I tried to explain how I was feeling. And immediately they recognized that, yes, there was something going on up here. Like, and the doctor said, um, the doctor recommended therapy. So when the doctor recommended therapy, immediately I started the sessions. And that's how I was diagnosed with PTSD. So when I was thinking about, every time I would think about step, stepping out of the house with the baby... In, my brain will automatically take me to that night where I was assaulted and I will immediately feel or fear to be attacked again and to and some and I was I was fearing that my baby was gonna be attacked also so that's why I couldn't physically 
step out of the house. That's why I was struggling to step out of the house. So it wasn't until I started therapy, I was doing sessions, um, I think it was two or three times a week. And the more sessions I was doing, the more I was feeling better. And of course, it didn't come right away. I didn't feel better like right away, but it, it, it like it. What I mean is, it took some time, but at least it was pushing me to the next step. So doing therapy helped me cope with um with my PTSD, with my fear, with my anxiety, and even my depression because. It wasn't until I started therapy that I found out that I was, that I had postpartum depression too. Like it was a lot going on. And if it wasn't for therapy, I wouldn't have known that. I wouldn't have found that out. So I say this to say that therapy is our friend. Therapy is on our side. I know there's been a lot of stigma around it because, um, People think, oh, therapy is for crazy people or for people who need to be like in strict jackets and stuff. No, therapy is for everybody. And recognizing that you need help, seeking for the help and getting the help is very important. It's very important, not just for you, but also for your loved ones for your family members for the people around you because one thing what one thing that most of the time we don't recognize is that when we are suffering the people around us suffer too and sometimes they suffer because they don't know how to help us they don't know what's going on with us they don't know what it is that they they can do or they could do to help so it makes them stress it makes them sometimes be depressed too so like i said therapy is our friend don't be scared to seek for therapy and like even if it's once a month when you feel like if there's anything bothering you like and here's the thing in therapy like there's there's therapy for everything there's therapy for everything if there's if you have the slightest um issue like if you feel that there's something going on or there's something that's off with your body or with your mind seek therapy seek therapy and it can only get better from there like you cannot go to therapy and feel worse about yourself no i guarantee you that therapy will help you so that's what i, I wanted to share with you guys now uh, okay, so the therapy, the uh, my sessions, I was doing one on one. It was one on one sessions, and we would we would talk about. Of course, we she was she my therapist was um, mainly focused on getting me out of my own mind where I was thinking the person who assaulted me is out there, like he's right there outside of my gate as soon as i step out he's gonna attack me he's gonna attack my baby so she she her main focus was to get me to get out of that um head space and i want to ask you now what do you think is the type of therapy that i got from what uh you saw before like the types of of therapies that i mentioned so what do you think is the type that I personally got with what I just told you?